I've been thinking about how I want to do this. And um, I'm gonna tell you that right now, in my opinion, what's in this box is the best knife in the world. I have had multiple thousand dollar knives on this channel. I've handled multiple, you know, two and three thousand dollar custom knives on this channel. And I've never had a knife that I've handled that beats this knife. You can see it. I know I'm showing some pictures of it. We're going to talk about the incredible, and I mean absolutely mind-bogglingly good, Koenig Mini Arius with a factory flipper delete. So buckle up, guys, uh, because this is a different kind of video. Guys, like I said in the intro, there is just no real way for me to describe how good this knife is. This, I literally picked it up and now have goosebumps. This is the best knife, hands down, that I've ever handled. Now, I want you to put that in perspective. This has been a, my grail knife for a lot of years. I have a Sabenza that is possibly one of the best made American knives hands down this beats everything i've had on the channel by leaps and bounds this is the mini arius and it is a flipperless version and everything about this in my opinion is just perfect just shy of perfect there's a couple little things but like very rarely do i say that something is that close to perfect this is an incredibly done M390 blade that is a hollow with a beautiful, super fine stone wash on it that comes down to a ridiculously sharp edge. Uh, the finish on it is just amazing. And then when you get into the handles, <laughs> I love this knife, the amount of machining and milling that went into this pattern to look like that is just incredible. Now, I had a couple people ask, like, what makes that knife so expensive? And I was like, if you knew how much time it takes just to do that pattern, let alone for them to make all of their own hardware, it's just incredible. The little touches that are on this knife are just above and beyond what I expect from a knife. The access to the lock bar, absolutely perfect. The action on it is just in incredibly good not just that it's drop shut there is nothing there there is zero it's it's almost like it's running it's it's like when you're on an air hockey table and it just runs like that uh the way that they did the internal uh, weight reduction is done so that it is exposed and clearly visible and it's attractive so at that angle you can see it really clearly you've got a spot here that your thumb just kind of naturally wants to sit in which is perfect. The mini areas with the flipper is a good knife. This is what makes it so great, in my opinion, is that this is a flipperless. Uh, I've had problems with the Koenig areas flippers. They, I find them to be uncomfortable. With the fact that this is a flipperless from the factory, it was done perfectly without that. It just takes this from a knife that I was really excited about to a knife that I don't know how many more years I can go without one. Uh, everything about this is just done amazing. Now, I have to give you a disclaimer. I did not do very much heavy cutting. I did a little bit of cutting. I cut a little bit of cardboard. I cut a little bit of paper. I did some fine, super, super light wood cut testing to see how it feels in hand to cut with because this is not my knife. The owner has not even received this knife yet. And that's something I'm going to talk about when you talk about dealing with this company, how amazing it is. But the cutting I did do, it is stellar. Look at just look at how that snaps open. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to do it as lightly as possible. I'm just barely touching that. So I'm getting my finger and I'm just barely touching that. And it just slams open. But you can also pop past the detent and slow roll it. So you you just it's just incredible. Pocket clip. You can't even tell it's in your hand. There's a lot of knives that I get that a pocket clip's okay. The pocket clip on this just absolutely disappears into my hand. It, it, it is absolutely not a hot spot. You can't even tell it's there. It is one of the few pocket clips that I just, I'm not even aware that it's on the knife. Uh, backspacer, beautiful, gives you a lanyard hole. It's cleanly done. It's got a very nice look to it. And then on the pocket clip, you've got a little window into a mark in here that shows you that that is a Gen 1, Batch 1 of these knives. Now, this other thing that I'm about to tell you is something you guys know I love. The balance on this, because it is so light in the tail, it's a little bit heavy for the pivot. Just the best feel possible. You can get up on it and cut like that. Now, 
what I wanted to point out to you guys is this knife didn't get paid for until three weeks after it came home. This was purchased by a friend of mine that's a police officer. He was not in the area. He was unable to make the show. He definitely wanted this knife. I spoke to Bill before the show even started. And he was like, yep, we will hold one for him. We'll invoice him and it'll get paid for. And then you take it home. Well, we had a problem with the invoice and the invoice didn't get paid. And Bill was like, you know what? Just take it, take it. I trust you. So therefore I trust him. Uh, and we finally got it taken care of because the emails weren't going. They did not have to do that. And that is just a step above. I talked about it in an Instagram video, but this is absolutely the best knife I've had on the channel. Now I'm going to send this back. I'm going to send this off to the owner and I'm going to get it back as soon as I can to do a full on carry and use review because I'm not going to destroy this knife for my friend before he even gets to carry it. But it is just incredible. I've had it in my pocket a few days, uh, some light carry. And I can see very, very few things wrong with this, even down to the point that they made sure that that's even though that's kind of a hard edge, it's not sharp at all. I have only found one issue with this knife. Typically, I would be like, OK, we're going to get a message from this video sponsor. You can check those guys out later. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. I have one minor thing to say about this knife, and it's because the pocket clip out of character for me is a little shorter. It puts it in position where I do find this catching going into pocket. Uh, so the material drops in. I think maybe if the pocket clip was a little bit longer, I would feel more secure. I was just afraid it was going to come out of my pocket with a short pocket clip like this. I know it won't, but I think that having it that close to the cutout is kind of allowing that material to be kind of pushed down in and then and then dropped it. And if this pocket clip was a little bit longer, I think I'd be more comfortable with it. Or if this had been just rounded off ever so slightly. But it's not like I have a hard time getting in the pocket. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's just that you get it in pocket, you think it's all the way in and it catches on that and you got to push it a little further. Not at all an issue. This is a knife that I hate absolutely hate the fact that I currently cannot own. It's just, it's just, un, it's just untenable for me to, to purchase a $900 knife at this point. But I'm going to tell you right now, there will be one of these in my collection before too many more years. So guys, I just had to, I just had to do this. Um, does it take the spot of my grail? Would I like get rid of this to get this? No, but I definitely would carry these in concert. I would put this in my pocket with this and be over the moon at what I had. So guys, that's it on this one. I just had to do this. Like The, the end of the year wrap up where I'm going to show you guys like the best knife that come in. It is unfair for me to put this knife in that because it just would destroy everything else. This beats every other knife I've ever had on the channel. So with that being said, is it a yup? I don't even have to ask that question. Would, would I ever say it's, would I ever say there's something wrong with it? Nah, let's go flip this around. Go visit my buddy, Ty's company, Machine Machine Co. And we'll do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So yeah, long intro and not like a full on review video. Uh, I have absolutely fallen in love with this knife. This is by far the best knife I've ever handled. I've got 2,700 videos up on this channel. Put that in perspective. This is the one. This is the best knife on the planet right now at this moment. You're just not going to beat it. From the finish to the blade shape to the way it feels in hand to the pattern that's on the handles. Just, it is incredible. And the fact that the family that makes it are just incredibly good people. I just, I don't know what else to say. So like the video or don't like it. I really don't give a shit to tell you the truth at this point for this video. Uh, you want to support the channel? Bunch of ways you can do it. I didn't throw an ad in, but I've got sponsors down below. Um, the sponsors down below, uh, Doll Strong Knives, co uh, Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail. Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail have a discount built in. I also have a coupon code that works there. It's crazy sharp, all one word. Use lower case. And you can use that across the board at, at Coffee Brand Coffee, Rosecraft Blades, uh, Tempered Trail, uh, Fair and Forge Knife Works, and a new one that will save you 40%, which is beyond EDC. There's a link down below for that as well. Uh, there's the Amazon store, there's memberships, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm just, I can't even think what I want to say. I love you guys. This is great. Bill, thanks for making this happen for my buddy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.